Hi, Statesman Nation. Welcome to another edition of Office Hours as we are joined today by Sharon DeCock, a professor out of the nursing department. Sharon, thank you for joining us for a few minutes here today. Um, I'm going to kind of let you more or less uh, run the show. I'll prompt you, but um, you know, I just wanted you to uh, be able to tell us a little bit more about nursing, about yourself, um, you know, why nursing's great, why William Penn's great, all that fun stuff. So um, I guess first off, I, you can maybe clarify a little better of um, what your actual title is, what classes you teach, etc. This will be an easy conversation because I love what I do. So <laughs> what I teach, um, I am a nursing instructor at William Penn University, and I also do advising and recruiting and that stuff for our nursing program. Sure. Um, what I teach is I teach in, currently we have an RN to BSN program. And we are starting a pre-licensure program, which will be the four-year BSN program. So students maybe out of high school or people who have no experience in nursing can come to William Penn and get their Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And that's a very exciting adventure that we're on right now. Yeah. I'll get more into that in a little bit. But what I teach right now is for our RN to BSN program. And what that consists of is an associate degree nurse comes into the program and we we get her prepared or get get that student prepared to be a bachelor of science nurse and what a bachelor of science nurse is and the classes i teach um, are going to prepare that student to work with health disparities population health how to make our communities better in that kind of es essence right. it also teaches students about leadership and cost containment measures and um, conflict management those kinds of things. We're also getting into those ethical frameworks, which I think are really, really key right now that we're dealing with in, this, in um, the crisis that's going on right now. Ethical frameworks. And so I always tell my students, here's a toolbox, take it with you, yeah. use it for practice, because it's gonna help you in the real world, you know? What's an ethical framework I can use to make those tough decisions um, and not regret them so much later? Right. And um, and then I think too, and then it kind of ends up pulling it all together with what we call evidence-based practice. And so we're using all this, well, we also have informatics, how to use technology to measure outcomes, you know, and prepare those people to go out there and do those leadership roles, really make those changes in healthcare. And the evidence-based practice kind of pulls it all together and goes out and they do a project and it's like something they would change in their institution to make our nursing practice better. Nurses are a key point in healthcare. If you go anywhere, you're going to see a nurse. Yeah. And we need nurses to make that difference in our communities and make them feel better. So, and I'm very passionate about that. So. Right, right. Definitely. Um, let's talk about your background, uh, you know, where you graduated, what you've been doing prior to William Penn, because you haven't been with William Penn or, you know, your entire career, obviously, so we've only had our nursing program for a handful of years. So um, just talk about where you came from and, um, you know, then we can lead into other things. So. Okay. I've been a nurse for 30 one 32 years now and i've practiced all along the way because that is my passion i love our profession so i still practice today just a little bit and uh, labor and delivery is my specialty but i've got to dabble in a lot of different things i've had some great opportunities and i think that have made me a better instructor than i am today sure. and um i graduated from wichita state university with a bachelor of science in nursing way back in 1988 and started out working in a teaching institution, a teaching hospital in Wichita, Kansas, and then was a traveling nurse and um, always wanted to go back and get my master's degree because I had that one instructor over here that was like, yeah, I think I want to do that someday. You know, and I think you have those people you model after and want to be like. So I uh, was a traveling nurse for many years, met my husband, and, um, and then moved to Kansas City and worked there for many years too. And started really getting into education with uh, parent education and heading up a lot of different programs, starting new programs in a variety of situations. I've been very, very lucky to have been blessed with those opportunities, you know, with hospitals trusting me to do that. So um, started some different programs, such as um, um, the volunteer doula program at Mercy Medical Center and here when I was in Iowa. And, um, uh, postpartum triage program, and then also worked in parent education, taught a lot of people about that stuff, was certified in that, and then moved to Iowa and really got to do some academic teaching, and I taught at Indian Hills Community College for about five years under a great staff, 
wonderful opportunity, dynamic opportunity to meet students out there and really get that love for, I think, academics. So, um, and finish my uh, master's um, degree then. I started my master's in Kansas City, had twin babies, and then kind of took a break and then finished up when I moved to Iowa. So, had my master's since 2004, and um, once again, started teaching, and then went to the hospitals and did some teaching for nursing staff, a little higher level, and getting them um, um, to know more about their profession. Went to Mercy and did started some new programs, and now here I am again. Been here for 12 years. Yeah. Our WSM program. There you go. Uh, talk about um, you know wanting to become a college professor. Obviously, you already had you know some experience experience prior to coming to William Penn, but, um, you know, making that transition, uh, obviously you're still doing some nursing, as you said, but making that transition out of the, I don't want to say practical world into the academic world, but I guess that's the word I'm going to use. So, um, but you know, why, why do that? Why do that? You or know, why did you do that? I should say, why did you want to switch? Yeah. You know, you get out there and you see these students, you know, and I'm going to love that pre-licensure program too is working like an academic even for the community college. You see these people that are coming in and you get to, you get to teach them and model them and, and share your passion for what our profession is and how to do, you know, and learn those things about how to make a difference in other people's lives. And so, I mean, that's, that gives me goosebumps to think about that. You know, you're gonna be able to go out there, take care of people in a good way, learn how to do it and, and really make a difference in our community and healthcare too. It's one of my big things with the R and the BSS. Like, let's make a difference because you can. Yeah. And so I, I think it's an honor to have the ability to teach people how to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we're talking about two different degrees here. So this is, uh, you know, it's going to range uh, wildly here, but uh, talk about the the different things that I mean everybody's like well it's a nursing program so that means I'm going to become a nurse but uh, I feel like there's a lot more parts to this uh, equation so what can I guess a nursing degree help um, a student become in addition to a nurse what other um, you know careers could they have that's a you know with nursing I think we could say this is one profession that you can become a nurse but be so have changed your career millions of times. Right. You know, everybody thinks of a nurse as someone that works in a hospital mm -hmm. at the bedside. And great, and we do. And you know, and but within even that realm of nursing, there's a lot of different roles you can do, like infection control, joint commission, which is our accreditation. I did those, and I mean it's process management changes. You know, and at the R and the BSN level, we're teaching those kind of skills, leadership skills, director of nursing, and that kind of stuff. And with both of our programs coming in, you're going to end with a bachelor of science in nursing. You're going to be able to do it all in right. that. Um, so um, in nursing, there's not just that bedside nurse, which is so much um, passion, you know, and, and caring and be able to go home and say, hey, you know, I made a difference today. Mm -hmm. I mean... What other profession can you do that in? And in every realm of nursing, I think you get that opportunity to do that. Right. Uh, go home and make a difference, you know, in somebody's life. Um, but you can work in the hospital. You can work in public health. You can work as an occupational health nurse. You can be a flight nurse. You can um, work in process management, improving practices. You can be in education, which is so much fun to change the way we practice, encourage, and instruct others how to be a nurse. Um, that There's so many things that nurses do. Some own their own business. Some are in politics, you know. I think it would be kind of fun to really be out there and be in once in a while to really make those changes in healthcare that we need to do today. So lots of opportunities. Definitely. Um, all right. Well, you got, again, two programs, one more established, one that is uh, going to be really exciting, um, getting it off the ground here. Well, let's brag on the divisions a little bit, especially the one that is, um, you know, has already been established. But let's talk about, I mean, just what's great about nursing here at William Penn. We have awesome students that come in in the RNWSM program. It's, they are going out and they're finishing up their, you know, we can prepare them to go on and become that nurse practitioner. And the students will say they are prepared. Yep. They're prepared to make those next steps. 
some other of our students have gone out to be directors of nursing, you know, and other ones are still at the bedside and they are, you know, making those changes and getting excited about how to improve practices in healthcare. And once again, they have those tools in that toolbox in order how to make those changes. Those ones, though, they're kind of the leaders of their organization. And that's so fun to see that change and that development in that. Um, and others have gone in even into, you know, some education and teaching. And at bachelor's level, you can do that with, like, clinical experience, too. And a lot of them, we have one that is um, graduated, is getting her doctorate now. Yeah. And is going to be practicing here as one of our educators. So that's kind of awesome, too. Right. And one that is a certified nurse anesthetist. I mean, and they're moving on there. And I have another, you know, just they're going out and growing. Yeah. Even further and beyond what they're doing at Penn. So it's kind of exciting. That pre-licensure program is a really exciting adventure. If you can I talk a little bit about that. So I'm proud of these guys. I just see that. I love them. I'm so proud of them. Um, the pre-licensure is going to where we can take a person who has no experience in nursing whatsoever and just teach them everything they're going to need to know, those skills that they're going to need to know, how to care for a patient. So plus all that extra stuff along the way is intertwined you know, the leadership, the informatics, the, the evidence-based practice and understanding research is intertwined within this program so that they're out there being a leader mm -hmm. in the institution. Although being a nurse, knowing how to be a nurse and being prepared to do the nursing too. Right. So, and you know, and I love it too because Penn is in a location where we can really get to those students who otherwise may not have been able to get anywhere. I mean, we're going to be one of the only RN BSN programs south of Interstate 80. I mean, a couple on each end, but Penn is right here. So I love it. I love that we go reach these students, you know. I love that we have the Iowa Pride Scholarship to maybe go out and get these students some education, get a job when they're done, be in a wonderful profession. And have that from you know day one. I'm just I'm excited that Penn is going on such a journey. Um, let's talk about some advice that you'd give to incoming students. Um, this might be even ones that are only juniors that still have, you know, some time to, um, you know, maybe develop a little bit more before they even come to college. So I guess is there. Um, anything that they can do prior to uh, coming to William Penn? I don't know if this is, you know, an internship realm that they can spend some more time, um, you know, in a, a hospital. I, I'm, I'm just throwing things out. I'm, it just popped in my head. But anything that they could do to prepare better uh, for either degree, but also once they're here, what advice would you give them to be successful, you know, utilize their, their time here as best as possible? Absolutely. I'm glad you asked this question. One thing what we, uh, if you students you don't have to have this done ahead of time yeah. but as a prereq for this pre-licensure program is going to be getting your um to take the course as a nursing assistant and i did that when i was young as a sophomore in high school i went ahead and learned okay this is what i want to do you know do i really want to be a nurse so i you know took that course was certified you don't have to be certified but to be a nursing assistant and that's kind of the first level in nursing but you can test the waters a little bit Yep. You know, and and it also is a prereq for the nursing program. Now, nursing is really a concentration in science and math, has a little bit of math in it, but a lot of sciences, because we're going to treat, teach people, we're gonna, or teach people, we're going to care for people, be saving their lives, you know, giving them medication, doing assessments, understanding how the whole body works. So it's, it's sciences are good. So if they can take some lot of biology, some chemistry, a little bit of algebra, um, that will really help them along the way in nursing. Okay. And um, what was your other question? I'm and then, yeah, once they're here, um, you know, how can they have the most successful two or four years, um, you know, here at William Penn? One thing I love about the four-year program is that we're going to have that opportunity to get those students to get that nursing degree and still experience college life right. and that to me is important the first two years is going to be your gen ed so you get to kind of say okay do i like you know sciences i like math and, and if that's not your gig or you don't you know or maybe we don't quite get the bar where we're accepting the program you can still veer a different way mm -hmm. you know, in biology exercise science and that kind of stuff too 
Um, but you're still meeting everybody. You're getting that college experience, which I think right. is so key and makes people so well-rounded. And that's what Health Plan is going to offer that to them for sure. Um, to be successful, you're going to have to study. I mean, I think that's key. Um, definitely. Go to class for sure. And, and, um, and just and listen. And, and I think one thing about Penn, though, I think we do that for a lot of our students. We teach them how to study. To get them prepared for that college life because it's different than you know high school yep. so you know study concentrate will hopefully get you into some cohorts of the same students that you're going to be with throughout the program and even in the um our end of bsm program we definitely have you with those students so you find those relationships the support that you get from those around you that you're staying with and have some study buddies yep. you know? And that's, that's key, not only developing yeah. long-lasting relationships, but it helps you to continue to in, get in-depth with the information. Right, definitely. Um, last but not least, uh, Sharon, let, let's talk about why William Penn, not just in the, the nursing department, but just why William Penn? Why do you love William Penn? Why is it a great place to, uh, to be, and why would you, you know, recommend that students come here? Oh, my gosh. I love Penn. I think you all know that. But, you know, I think... And I always tell my students to come in. You're not alone. You are not alone here at Penn. You've got support. You know, people know your name, whether it's in the nursing, the faculty that take care of you or teach you, um, your advisors, but it's also, you know, financial aid, the business office, the dean. You know, we all, we care about you. We know you. We're here to help you. And, and help you be successful. You, you become, I always they kind of become my children in a way. Right. You know, I over, I just want to, you know, we're here to help, I guess I should say. And their success is really important to us and all of us. Yeah. So we care. Awesome. And care, so. Yeah. All right, awesome. Um, I, okay, I, think we, I think we covered it. Oh, go ahead. Diversity at Penn. Yes, yes. Too, and the people that they're going to meet in their lives is really gonna be cool. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, well, awesome. Thank you, Sharon, so much for your time. Uh, once again, Sharon DeCock, uh, uh, professor, I didn't say professor, I know you said instructor, but professor uh, in our nursing department, both the RN to BSN uh, program that we've had for uh, over a decade, as well as um, our um, new four-year program. Uh, starts you from, I guess, literally nothing into um, becoming a, uh, uh, BSN nurse. So thank you so much, Sharon. Again, have a great day. Um, go Statesman. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right.